In today's video, I'm going to talk about three things. Firstly, my ongoing weight loss. Secondly, I'm going to show you a graph of my progress for the last uh, close to eight weeks to show you how things even out on a week-to-week -week basis. And finally, I'm going to talk about another myth where people confuse ketosis with ketoacidosis. Hi, Tim here with my day 51 ketogenic diet update. Since yesterday's weigh-in, I'm down 0.4 of a kilogram, and that's sort of close to 9 tenths of 1 pound. And that means my total weight loss since I've started has now moved up to 10.5 uh, kilograms, and that's uh, around about uh, 23 and 1 tenth of a pound. So things are still going well. Now, as I mentioned, there's two other things I want to talk about today. Firstly, I'm going to just uh, go to my computer and show you my screen. I just want to show you the results. Um, of looking at keto, the weight loss over, looking at it on a week to week basis. I've mentioned this before, but sometimes you can find in the short term, on a day to day basis, you, your weight can vary and go up and down, but in the long run, you can find that you're still losing weight, and it's important to, trip to uh, spot those trends, because what I want to point out to you is that I've actually lost weight looking at it on a week to week basis every single week since I've started. But let's go over and check that out now. Okay, I just wanted to point out and show you my weight loss if you're looking at it on a week-to-week -week basis. As you can see here, if you're looking at the graph, the red um, bars are kilograms lost. The green bars is what the equivalent weight is in pounds. And you can see that over the past seven weeks, I've lost weight every single week. Now, the weight will vary. The weight loss varies from um, a total of the highest is when I first started, 3.5 kilos, which was 7.7 .7 pounds. And the lowest that I've ever lost in a given week is uh, 0.7 of a kilogram, which is about 1.5 pounds. So you can see that uh, it's still consistent weight loss week to week. And I think this is important if you're considering keto or if you are looking at keto, when you do get those days where your day where your weight goes up, keep in mind that generally speaking, on a, if, you, if you're charting this on a week to week basis, you are going to be losing weight. Now checking that stats out, if you're looking at the average, average over seven weeks, I've actually averaged a weight loss of 1.5 kilos every week. And that's about 3 pound, 3.3 uh, 3 and 2 tenths of a pound. So you can see it's consistent weight loss each week. So keep that in mind that uh, it's not uh, something you need to worry too much about. There are going to be days where your weight goes up and there are also going to be days where your weight goes down. But overall, if you're looking at the, in the data in the correct fashion, you'll see that you are continually losing weight. Okay, let's get back to me on the big screen again. Very interesting, I'm sure you'd agree. Now finally, the last thing I want to talk about today is a myth where people, and sometimes doctors, would you believe, confuse this as well. They'll say a keto slash low carb diet is very unhealthy for you because you'll go into ketosis. And your answer to that is yes, and that's a good thing. Now, tricks aside, well actually it is a good thing that uh, keto, you go into ketosis because that's really the, the way that you're losing weight because your body's actually producing ketones for energy basically instead of glucose because of course carbs, uh, eating lots of carbs, they get converted to glucose, and that's how your body runs on glucose. And uh, without glucose, it needs another fuel source, and that's how this ketone you know, slash low carb works. It actually uses those ketones that your body, as smart as it is, will produce. It knows, okay, I've got no glucose, what am I going to do? I'm going to produce ketones. So the problem is that uh, doctors and uh, certainly people on the street who are talking to, friends maybe, have confused the word ketosis with ketoacidosis. Now ketoacidosis is a bad thing and that's something that diabetics will get uh, if it's not checked, if they're not getting enough insulin and so forth. And what basically that is, that's ketones gone crazy, gone wild and just really it comes about because the body with a diabetic can't produce insulin so it can't regulate the blood sugar levels. So basically uh, if, you're, if you're in that situation and you're sick then the ketones are going out of control. And I do know that from personal experience because my son's a diabetic. So um, that ketoacidosis is completely different to ketosis. So ketosis, uh, ketosis is a good thing. Ketoacidosis is a bad thing. You don't get ketosis from being on a low-carb slash keto diet um, unless you're sick or there's some other symptoms or if you're a diabetic. Um, and even that said, the diabetic, did you know that if you go onto a keto low-carb diet, you will almost from day one have to take less insulin. Now certainly speak to your doctors about this if you're thinking about doing it. Why does that work? Well, it's an interesting, uh, pretty simple reason, and most doctors, if they think about it, should be able to figure this out. 
Carbs raise your blood sugar level. That's the glucose being used, and then your body creates insulin to try and bring that uh, blood sugar level down again. That's really the, the up and down game that your um, body is fighting all the time when you're eating carbs. So if you're moving over to a keto diet, a low-carb diet, you haven't got that war going on, and so therefore you'll need to inject less insulin to combat that. So certainly if you are a diabetic and you're considering keto, it's very good for that, but you must speak to your doctor or speak to someone first and do your your, your sums to make sure that uh, you're not having too much insulin, but also that you're having enough. And it really takes an expert to do that, and that's certainly out, the, out of the realms of what I can offer you. But just in general, there's lots of good um, uh, information out there on diabetes uh, and if you're on a keto diet. All right, day 51 done. I'll be back again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click this button here. You can see it on the screen now. That's the like button. Please do that. It helps spread the word and get other people to actually find my videos, which is fantastic. It's a win-win. Also, if you want to comment on my videos, please do so. That's over there, right over there. If you do that, I will actually respond to any questions you might have. And lastly, and probably most importantly, please subscribe. That's right. Click that button right there now. You can do that right now while I'm talking. And you can subscribe to my channel and you'll be updated automatically every time I release a new video, which is often. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back with another video soon. Cheers for now.